So what we did, uh, it's paid for by a combination of things. We did raise taxes on some things. Uh, we, for example, said that uh, for high-income in individuals, you can pay a slightly higher uh, Medicare rate, uh, Medicare tax. So we bumped that up a little bit. We said that uh, for employers who are currently providing a so-called Cadillac health care plan, where there's so many bells and whistles, there's no uh, incentive to actually uh, spend wisely when it comes to health care. We're actually going to penalize you for that, not only to raise a little bit of money, but also uh, to say you're encouraging the worst aspects of a health care system where you spend a lot of money, you don't get better outcomes. I mentioned to you Medicare. We basically said uh, there, there's a program in Medicare called Medicare Advantage uh, that provides some additional options for uh, Medicare recipients above and beyond standard Medicare. And a lot, it's very popular with a lot of seniors. You get, you know, eyeglasses and, you know, uh, other benefits. But it turned out that it, it was so uncompetitive that we were providing tens of billions of dollars of subsidies to the insurance companies uh, under this Medicare Advantage plan without getting better outcomes, health outcomes for seniors. So what we said was, we'll keep Medicare Advantage and we'll give them a small premium if they're providing better services to, for seniors, but we're going to make you compete for it a little bit and we're going to save tens of billions of dollars in the process and that will go into paying for the Affordable Care Act.